me and my cousin one Arthur met right as we went a walking down by the seaside. And here marks what followed and what did betide, for it being on Christmas morning. And Arthur and I, we went on a tramp, and we met Sergeant Napper and Corporal Vamp, and a little wee drummer intending to camp, for the day being pleasant and charming. Hello, my fine fellows, the sergeant did cry, and the same to gentlemen we did reply, intending no harm, and just meant to pass by, for being on Christmas morning. And indeed, my fine fellows, if you will enlist, it's ten guineas in gold I will slip in your fist. Let the crown take the wagon and kick up the dust, and drink the king's health in the morning. For a soldier he leads a very fine life, and he always is blessed with a charming young wife, and he pays all his debts without sorrow or strife, and always is pleasant and charming. And a soldier he always is decent and clean in the finest of clothes, and is constantly seen, while other poor fellows are dirty and mean, and so but in gruel in the morning. Well, says Arthur, I would not be proud of your clothes, as you've only the length of them, as I suppose, and you dare not change them one night, for you know, if you do, you'll get flogged in the morning. And although that we are both single and free, we take pretty light in our own company, and we have no desires of strange places to see, although that your offers are charming. And we have no desire to take your advance, all hazards and dangers we'll bark our own chance, for you'd have no scruples for to send us to France, where we would get shot without warning. Oh no, says the sergeant, I'll have no such chat, and I neither will take it from spalping our brat. For if you insult me with one other word, I'll chop off your head in the morning. Then Arthur and I, we soon drew our hods, and we scarce gave them time for to draw their own blades. With a trusty shillelagh went over their head, and bade them take that just for warning. And their rusty rapiers that hung by their side, we flung them as far as we could in the tide. Now take them out, devils, cried Arthur McBride, and temper their rage in the morning. As for the wee drummer, we flattened his pole, and we made a football of his rowdy dow dow, and threw it in the tide for to rock and to roll. And that is a tedious returning. And so, to conclude and to finish disputes, we obligingly asked if they wanted recruits, for we were the lads who had given them hard clouds and made them look sharp in the morning. Me and me cousin, one Arthur McBride, as we went a-walking down by the seaside. And here Mark what followed, and what did betide, for it being on Christmas morning.